Crime Part 2 with Nicolas Cage. So yeah, this is the second part to the first part, starting with a movie I don't care about, if I'm being honest. Bad Lieutenants, or I think the longer title is Bad Lieutenant New Orleans or something like that. This movie revolves around Hurricane Katrina, which I remember was on the news when I was a kid. Or hold on, was that recent? Like past five years? I don't remember. I really don't. Either way, it was a boring ass movie, all right? Eva Mendes is in it, I think. And I think this is two years after Ghost Rider. And so seeing her as a mystery, to him just reminded me of the amazing Ghost Rider movies because those are totally not bad or okay has horrible CGI you know one thing that's good is addiction this whole movie is about addiction Cage is not sober he has a heroin addiction I think drinking addiction and so he's on the job looking for criminals or whatnot taking them to prison but he's having a battle within himself and so his friends and family they all see that he's not getting any help until it gets really really bad and then when you think he's actually doing well turns out he's not he's taking heroin so you would think he's just going on this rabbit hole of like self-destruction almost close to committing suicide or whatnot until he meets that one dude sitting in prison at the beginning of the movie turns out he's been sober for like a year and that convinces him like hey you know what if this piece of shit that i put behind bars can do it then i can as well and so that's how he becomes sober by looking at someone who's in prison i have to do better essentially but aside from that that's it for this movie this is a very forgettable non-important not great not bad movie trespass this might be the worst edited movie ever because there are dialogue that's bleep or silent because it had to be there are these weird fades in and out for some reason like you would use on the editing software that i use open shot there's like a fade in out they have those in this movie i don't know why but it was on my end where my pc was just acting weird or one but no i went back and rewatched it's in the movie it's on youtube there's a section on youtube where movies are for free and trespass was on there and so i don't know if it's just youtube itself doing its free movie stuff my device or the movie itself i'm assuming it's the movie itself it wasn't my device nor i don't have an issue with watching any other movie on youtube so it's got to be the movie because it's horribly edited like the story itself is fine what makes the movie worse and bad is the editing there's even a weird aspect ratio change one of the robbers he's telling his story about this girl at a club and whatnot and then it goes from the typical 60 by 9 ratio to like 720p like what you're watching right now it's like what the fuck is going on they're bleeping the shits and the fucks that makes it worse it's not even a bleep it's a silent it's like hey what are you silent and then dollar goes on as if nothing happened essentially nicole coldman and cage to have a daughter who's going out partying drinking and whatnot comes back home she gets involved somehow nicole coldman's having like an affair or not an affair but she doesn't want this younger man to get onto her but she's having issues with nicholas cage and then adding it with loud ass noises there's just a lot of yelling and stressing the fuck out and screaming in this movie and very later on it like progressively gets worse and worse it isn't a bad movie of the story or acting it's bad because of the editing and i don't know maybe this is on amazon prime or netflix maybe someone check because maybe it's just on my end but youtube the youtube version the youtube version right now as of recording this on may 15th 2022 it is not edited well at all which is really the true villain of the movie the editing Joe is a movie about Nicolas Cage in the woods, cutting trees and wood and whatnot, meets a boy, meets a young Cyclops from the X-Men movies, and turns out his own father is very abusive, and Nick Cage takes it in his own hands to be like, you know what, I gotta help out this boy because he's been abused. And that part of the movie is good, like Cage being this outsider, seeing this father just abusing his own son, super messed up, and so he decides to take action. My issue is essentially everything else. The other characters seems like they're not really characters at all, but like, they're your types in a way i don't know they weren't really interesting at all really and the whole movie feels like nothing really goes anywhere aside from the very beginning and end the whole middle chunk of this movie just feels lackluster i was that intrigued by it cutting some more wood what else you know like i don't know i didn't find it interesting at all in the end joe or cage is able to help out young cyclops get out of his situation by essentially killing the father and himself freeing him of abuse and i guess himself because he seemed like he did not want to be in this world didn't really see the need to live anymore how about a young kid killing his father makes sense oh yeah there's this thing about the woods young little boy cyclops decides to replant the trees or not trees but woods that cage and the others cut off to homage him in a way but yeah that's it i'm getting bored talking about this movie because ain't got much to say about it you know name's joe ends with cage and ends with him dying
Okay, finally, we're getting to a movie that I do like that's decent called Rage. So Rage, you would expect, or at least I did, a movie called Rage about Nicolas Cage getting his revenge on a Russian mob for killing his own daughter. You would think that he would go all out and go crazy, right? There are moments like that, but the movie ends doesn't pan out that way because it's done in a way that's like, okay, this is interesting. Twist on the whole revenge flick in a way. Russian mob guy and Cage, they never ever meet each other at all. You would think that, okay, they're not spending a lot of time on this guy, this Russian mob, who's beating this guy with like, like his own fists, you would think they would meet, but no, it doesn't go that way at all. Turns out his own motivations is that Cage killed his brother way back in the day when he was involved in some mob shit and just crazy underground illegal stuff. And then Cage thinks that this is a very like Russian thing to do where they broke into the house, killed his own daughters, hurt her two other friends, right? And it would make sense because this guy, he wants revenge for Cage for killing his brother and vice versa, right? But no, that's not that case at all whatsoever as well because one of her friends, Mike, they realized that Cage is not really the typical father and even the daughter knows this they take one of his guns play around with it they shouldn't be playing with it and then it goes off and so they had to make up this whole story that hey someone broke in cage is being lied to by mike and whatnot he's about to kill mike but doesn't because all this anger rage is what really caused this whole thing to happen okay maybe not like the killing of his own daughter but the whole russian mob stuff and going back to his old ways and habits and so i really like that because in rage right you would expect him to go all out but that doesn't really happen at all really it subverts your expectations where he goes out in a very i don't want to say peaceful he dies in a way that's like you know what he's accept that he's made past mistakes and he's not accepted death because he doesn't want anyone else suffering for his past mistakes especially his wife and so by the end he comes out dead on one of those hospital beds wife starts crying and then that's when the movie ends i don't know i really like this movie like it's not great right but it's a decent little movie and twist on the whole crime thriller slash action slash revenge genre where you're expecting cage to get his revenge and he really doesn't he just accepts the fact that he made mistakes and accepts he needs to die he doesn't want to make any more of those mistakes they're really like that and so rage is a decent movie it's good and now we're back to doing okay watching okay stuff 211 or 211 i don't know why the movie's called that but movies again boring cage plays a cop and his buddy is a cop as well but it's also his son-in-law daughter married him and so they have this report of hey you know do your job also how's my daughter is she doing okay or whatnot and i thought why is this even being a thing but no it turns out it'll be a setup because this cop he dies by the end trying to be a good cop his own daughter comes by at the end saying sorry because he wasn't able to save him there's one really good scene of cage yelling at his co-workers being like where the hell were you guys his daughter's gonna be a single mother and it sucks it's actually sad but the issue is everything else like there's a side plot of this kid getting bullied because why like that felt unnecessary it added nothing to the movie cage gives a speech to this kid being like don't worry you'll make it those guys those bullies you're never gonna see them again don't care about them right and that's really it he comes in to save the son-in-law in a way but then he dies and he's comforted by Nicolas Cage. What was the point of that? No idea. But yeah, that's the whole movie. Cage is a cop. His son-in-law is a cop. He dies and he knows that he has another kid coming along the way. He yells at his co-workers. His daughter is now going to be a single parent. It ends a very sad and tragic way. And then there's this additional side plot that does nothing to the whole movie of this kid getting bullied. It's okay. Another forgettable movie from his filmography. The plot. But it's so forgettable that it might as well not be there essentially. It really isn't running with the devil i was actually really excited to watch this movie because you got lauren fishburne right matrix ant-man and the wasp he just seems like a cool actor to watch by the way there's like title cards for him and cage the man title card for fishburne and then the cook for cage i was like, okay this is interesting where's this going and it went somewhere that i was like all right you know the movie's just about cocaine and how much fishburne does cocaine there's a time lapse of him doing cocaine doing his thing with two women so i remember from him him and cage know each other cage is a cook he seems like the smart one well i mean he is he's the one that's like operating stuff has warehouses of coke and cocaine and like just stealing it essentially while the dea i don't know what the hell that means but they're going after him and so they have to get caught at some point because they can't just keep going around doing this stuff the only issue well not the only but the two issues i have is it's another generic movie well also i wrote my note i forgot how this movie ends which is not what you want i think i fell asleep it's either this or this next one the last one one because i remember more from the last movie than this one so yeah i don't know how this movie ends all i know is that there's coke involved a lot of snorting stuff fishburn and cage know each other it's cool to see them on screen i haven't seen both of them on screen at the same time and yeah i don't know that's it this is gonna be a horrible section by the way running with the devil ain't got much to say about it i don't know maybe i'm the one smoking crack i don't know either way I don't really care about this movie ending it with prisoners of the ghost land there's a part of this movie that i do like of the really 
weird aesthetics, the mashing of the look of Japan, cowboys in his movie, alongside with kimonos and samurais. There's even like a modern like sign in there, like the mashing of genres and looks and styles. While interesting, it's also like, what is going on? Filmmaker and director of this movie was like, you know what? I love me some samurais, the aesthetics of Japan, cowboys, westerns, kimonos. Let me put all of that shit together. That's what this movie feels like at the very beginning because it's a bit weird genres in there because I love them and there's a part of me that's like that's cool but then also like this is very messy and the movie overall isn't messy it's a very simple movie of Nick Cage being in prison known as a badass there's even one moment where like these girls in kimonos are like drawing his dick for some reason I don't know why but they find it funny this kid that died and Cage was robbing a big turns out he didn't do that one of his uh I guess co-workers decided to shoot the kid because the kid was like handing out these little balls or whatnot being very pure innocent and naive and you would think don't shoot that kid he's just being an innocent kid he has no sense of danger there's guns going off and he's just there being like i want this candy or this little like little chain thing and he gets killed for it and everyone thought he did it he was a ruthless murderer a no so guy right but no guy has a heart and he's gotta save someone or something i forgot the plot the plot is meaningless it's just the very beginning it throws you off with all these mashups of genres and costumes that it's like okay this is going turns into a typical like not an evil guy he's a good guy kind of like chucky and he has a new life by the end he's able to kill off that one big ass dude save some people and by the end live his own life without any crime prison time because not everyone knows him as a hero and not a criminal or prisoner and then there's a part of me that's like you know what this movie should have gone really ridiculous and bombastic and goofy and weird because go back to the very beginning tone was set like this is gonna be very funny ridiculous and while it is it didn't really reach its full potential i feel if this movie would have gone just bonkers and cage is just there like taking everything at face value very serious very cold-hearted motherfucker right i actually would have really liked this movie but movie didn't go that route it played it very safe which is fine the movie's fine and that was it for crime part two for nicholas cage clearly in this video you could tell too i was not thrilled about talking most of these movies aside from ghostland and rage they're okay they fine god damn i don't know why i decided to do crime last or not second to last but yeah it was rough either way that is it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching